Hi guys, welcome back to another video of RW Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest, simple way that anybody can hatch chicken eggs. As you can see here, I have all the materials you need. I have 19 eggs. I was originally going to do 20, but it's over a three days course and I stored the eggs over that time. So I'll show you the materials I have. I have 19 eggs here. You'll need a Sharpie marker, obviously your incubator, and then the box here I have to show. This is called a still air, still air incubator. And as you can see the, in the picture, it's got like the water compartment. And I'll explain that better later on. And I have just a little glass of water here. Now I've let this incubator run for a couple days to ensure that it works properly and I can maintain the proper temp and humidity. So I have good eggs here. You're gonna want good, nice, clean eggs. As you can see, this one's very clean, no spots. And if your eggs happen to have like chicken droplings or something on, just try to wipe it off with your hands. Don't wash it off with water because it will remove the protective coating on the eggs that the hen put on. And when you store the eggs, you can see here how the eggs have like a more of a pointier end and this side's more less round. You're going to want to store the chicken eggs with the pointy end down in the carton. Now, as I said earlier, I, this is over a three days course. And we have four different breeds that these should end out as. We have Bard Rock, Rhode Island Red, Isa Brown, and uh, Brownless. So what I meant is when I collected the eggs, it was accumulated eggs through three days of the hens laying. And what you'll do here with your marker, you'll grab an egg. So when you turn the eggs, you'll know what way they belong. So you open up your marker. What you'll simply do is write an X on one side, like that, and then an O on the other side. And you'll do that with every single egg that you have. And if you have any particular hen that you want to mark that egg particular, you can put a special mark on that. I've done some research and I've watched other YouTube videos on the right temperatures and humidities that you need in the proper days. Now for hatching chicken eggs are about 21 days to hatch and they need anywhere from 98 degrees to 102. And I've set the incubator to 100 degrees. And also according to Prina Mills, they also say that the proper humidity is anywhere from 50 to 55 percent for the first 18 days of incubation for the after 18 days you're going to put the humidity up to about 65 percent so that way it softens the eggshell so the babies have a uh, easier time to get out of the eggshell okay we are ready to put the eggs in the incubator as you can see i've marked on each side of the egg an x and an o so when we rotate them you can tell what side they were on. Okay, we're going to open up the incubator now and start placing eggs in there. So you're going to want to very quickly open up the incubator so that way minimal heat escapes. Okay, so we'll open up the hatch here. I'll keep it like this. That should work. And then we'll place our eggs like this on their side. Make sure you put an X I'm just going to put my X on top, like that, and then when you rotate them, you're going to just do this. Or you can just do it around like this, however you prefer. And you're going to need to rotate eggs three times a day. For the first 24 hours that you have the eggs in the incubator, you just leave them sitting there so that way the incubation process starts. Then after 24 hours, then you can start uh, rotating again. So we'll just place all those in there. So once you have all the eggs in the incubator, it should look like this. Make sure you leave little space between the eggs for when they hatch. They have some room to wiggle around. And as you can see here, I have a little thermometer in here that tells temperature and humidity. And this is connected to a, a screen clock or a time o'clock that I'll show you later. So I set that in there. 
when you put water in here, you can see there's like little trays. And I'll demonstrate how to put water in there. So you take your cup of water and then you just slowly put in those little pores. And since I've already had the humidity correct, I'm just adding a little bit more because it needs to go up maybe 2%. So that should be good. So that looks good. Once you have your water in there, you'll put the hatch back on. You'll put it nice and tight. So it is about six o'clock. We're not gonna open this back up until six o'clock tomorrow. And then after that, then we'll start rotating it again. Now, as you can see, the temperature and humidity is displayed here in the green. Since I had the hatch open for a minute or so, the temperature has dropped to about 94. And then the humidity is 39. I had it about 50 earlier. But since I put a little extra water in it, it should help it. And like I said, for the first 18 days, you're going to want the humidity around 50 to 60%. And then after day 18, then you'll make it just over 60 and you'll want the ideal temperature about 100. Okay, it's been approximately 24 hours from when I put these in at six o'clock. As you can see, I'll mark the date and the time. So we're ready to flip the eggs and I've added four extra eggs to the incubation process. So all we're gonna do is open up the hatch, maybe about halfway. And as you can see, I've demonstrated how you put the marks on the eggs, how the X's and O's. All we have to do is just flip the eggs to the O side that's why you mark them so you can tell what side is what. So then you just flip them all to the other side just like that. Now that I have all the eggs flipped like that, they're all on the other side. And you repeat this process for three times a day. And next time I flip them, it'll be on the X side. And you're gonna do this until day 18, three times a day, flip them. And my humidity is a few percent low, so we're just gonna add a little water. So once again, you just flip these little troughs with water. That should be good. Then close up the hatch, and then you'll repeat that process for three times a day. And in the next part of the video, I'll show you how to candle the eggs. Okay, it is day 13 for the eggs being in the incubator. As you can see, I have this calendar here. I recommend doing this. So I marked when I put the eggs in, April 5th, and then it is April 18th, and I put a tally mark for every time I turn the eggs. For candling the eggs, I'm just gonna be using a super bright flashlight. You see, it's pretty bright, and we'll see what it looks like. The eggs are pretty well developed, and they're very cool to monitor. I'm only gonna show this one time in the video, the difference between a fertile and unfertile egg. So that way it shortens the time of the video. You can start candling the eggs at day 5 all the way to day 18. And this is day 13 so they're pretty well developed and you can easily see them. As you can see this is a fertilized egg. Now for candling your eggs you're going to want a dark room. So you can see the stuff inside the egg wheel. As you can see this is a fertilized egg because you can see the, all the veins inside. And if you look closely you can see the chicken side moving around. See it? So this is definitely a fertilized egg. Now one sign that it's could be a fertilized egg but they died is if there's veins and then there's like a ring, they call it like a blood ring, that the embryo has died. As you can see this is an unfertilized egg. There's no development inside, you can see no veins, and it's just clear all the way through. So I rotate it, it's just clear egg. All you can see is the yolk. There's a little bit of an air pocket, but there's definitely no development in there. So it's an unfertilized egg, and you're going to want to throw these out. So if you leave them in your incubator, then they can ex possibly explode and cause the other chicks to get sick. It's currently hatch day, and some of the babies have already hatched, and they've dried off a little bit. So they'll be ready to be in the brooder. For day 18, all we did was just put some extra water in the incubator and so it was about 70 percent and you don't open the hatch and you don't turn the eggs until hatch day so that's that and then i'll show you with the as you will now see if you watch very closely you see that egg right there that the camera's focused on you can see a baby chick starting to emerge from the egg it's a pretty neat sight to see 
As you'll see, the camera will slow down if you watch very closely frame by frame. You can see the babe chick starting to come out, and all the others seem surprised. Just like that, So all we have here the with the is just a plastic tote with the food and water dish, and then the heat lamp here. And what I'll end up doing is just put like a paper towel on the ground here, or on the chips, with uh, some food in it, so that way they learn how to pick. So as you can see, we have seven babies so far. The rest will hopefully hatch soon. You can see they're all hobbling around, eating and drinking. As you can see, when you first put them in there, you might have to barely put their little head in the water dish so they start drinking, and then they'll get the, used to it. And then what we've done is just put some uh, baby food on a paper towel there so they can get used to pecking. As you can see, they look very happy. Fluffy. These are just over a day old. So hopefully you guys learned some from this video. And I'll do an update when they get older. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.